Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So, I got myself some FP insoles. So I've been seeing the ads all over Instagram like I'm sure you guys have as well. You guys have probably seen the bowling ball test where like you drop a big bowling ball on the insole and a regular insole kind of bounces off and doesn't absorb the energy and the FP insole kind of just takes the bowling ball and because I guess of the technology that's in these it's able to disperse that energy and I was always kind of curious but I never really pulled the trigger but recently I just saw Joey Brzezinski on the nine club and that's kind of what got me interested in buying them and also a really good buddy of mine Sig has sworn by them he's had them in the past and he said they were great so I wanted to give them a try so what I got was moldable high profile king foam elite it's kind of a mouthful um, but these are the ones that are moldable so you can put them in the oven essentially and mold them to your feet kind of like a custom orthopedic for like a fraction of the price um, I don't actually know the price of a custom orthopedic but these were $75 with shipping and that's shipping to Canada so I'm sure it might be cheaper in the States uh, but yeah that's 75 shipped to my door so yeah, I got these on the FP Insoles website, the Canadian one. Um, it's not the best website, but with a little bit of digging, I was able to find um, the specific insoles that I wanted. Got the Game Changer Color Collective. So these guys right here. Um, I think they look really cool. Um, let me know in the comments below. Do you guys think this looks cool? Not like it matters. It's in the, your shoe, in the bottom of your shoe, so you don't really see it. But nonetheless, I thought they looked cool, and that's why I got them. I ordered them um, and they probably ship within like less than a week I would say. I was surprised because they quoted me like I think two and a half weeks shipping um, which is kind of normal for a single product from the States sometimes. But yeah they showed up under a week and I was stoked because I got some new shoes and I wanted to try them out. So yeah they came depending on what shoe size you are they come a little larger. Um, so I got like the 10 to 13 so they're like size 13 and what I did was I actually put my foot on top of the insole and then traced the outside with a permanent marker and then just cut them and then put them in the shoe messed around a little bit with the with the fitting sometimes like the first initial cut wasn't perfect so I took them out and I actually ended up using the insoles from the previous shoe so I had a Nike blazer insole and I kind of just put it on top of the other insole and then kind of used that a bit of as, as my guide to like cut around they cut pretty easily, uh, but yeah, just be careful. Make sure to like measure before you cut because you don't want to cut too much off and then ha don't have enough insole for your shoe, which would suck. I didn't do an unboxing for you guys, but the packaging was pretty basic, pretty simple. Um, it would be cool from a user experience perspective if FP insole were to include um, kind of like a directions on how to go about heating them up and cutting them and how to fit them to your shoe. I mean, you could pretty you could figure it out by yourself or watch this video and, and get some tips, but it would be cool to have a bit of an, a user's guide on, on how to use them. After cutting them and fitting them, I wanted to make sure I did that before I put them in the oven, before the mold. So I put them in the oven for eight minutes at 200 degrees, so that's 200 Celsius, 100 Fahrenheit. Then I put them in my shoes, put my feet in them, tied them up, and just kind of walked around my house uh, for like half an hour in them to try and get them molded to my feet. As you can see, they've kind of molded a bit here. There isn't too much indentation that happened from my feet molding to them, but I'd imagine over time um, they'll kind of mold in a bit more. But it's kind of good that they've stayed stiff. So as far as feeling goes, they do make the shoe feel a little more snug uh, especially if you're wearing a thicker sock, if you like to skate with a thicker sock, it does feel like, like the shoe's a little tighter, but not enough to like make it uncomfortable or ruin the experience of the shoe. And as far as like board feel goes, um, I didn't really notice a difference as far as like less board feel under my foot. If anything, they just feel like a more comfortable shoe. So yeah, I got a, a few different shoes here that I've put them in. I have Converse. They fit in the Converse pretty easily. These are some like worn out Converse. I kind of just use this like an everyday walking shoe. So if you're looking just for like an insole not to skate in, just a walking shoe, super comfortable with these. I even have a half cab 
So I skated half cab. This is like my fifth half cab in a row now. Um, but yeah, I skated with half cabs the other day. And I also put a little video edit for you guys together of a session I had yesterday with my buddy Blake and Sig um, when I was skating them and they felt super good. They fit good. Um, yeah, no issues there. And they're actually similar in size to a pop cush. They have like a similar thickness in the, in the heel here and then it kind of tapers down and it's thinner where your toes are, just like a, a pop cush. But unlike the pop cush, this actually distributes the weight properly. Normally after like, I don't know, these are probably like four weeks old, maybe a little longer. Um, they are getting a little soft and you would feel impact. Even on like flat ground, you miss a flip trick and you slam on the on the pavement hard. I noticed with, with the with the FP insoles, it just distributed that weight nicely. Um, and you didn't get that same kind of like abrasive feeling like you would from like a worn out pop cush. They feel good, I'm not gonna lie. I, mean, I haven't been jumping down like stairs or anything big. So it's hard to say how much impact they can actually take, but from the little skating that I've done, they feel great. So they also, I just got some Nike Blazers here. I'm gonna be dropping a review pretty soon on these, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, this is kind of like the shoe that I cut them and molded them for, because I knew it was the shoe that I was gonna be skating for a bit. But yeah, they fit in there, no problem. And they're super comfortable. They make the shoe feel a little more snug, but like I said, not by much. Um, so you can really get them, once you cut them to your size, to your shoes, to your foot size, they should fit in pretty much any shoe you want, which is kind of nice. It's nice being able to have an insole that I can go and swap between different shoes depending on which shoe I'm wearing that day. So far I'm really happy with them. Shipping was quick. The process of like warming them up and cutting them was super easy and once I fit them into my shoe they just felt comfortable and yeah, made me want to go skate. Yeah, having that extra little bit of confidence under your feet. Also coming off a knee injury, it's kind of nice to know that like the impact of my skating is going to be helped by an insole like this. Um, so yeah, comment below if you guys have tried FP insoles and what you guys think of them. I'm really curious to know if you guys um, have any experience with like higher impact. So yeah, put that in the comments below guys. Other than that, hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone is out there skating and injury free and learning new tricks. Yeah. Just want to say take it easy guys. Um, hope you're having a good day and we'll see you on the next video guys. Stay tuned for this Nike Blazer review or rather Nike Blazer first impressions. Um, yeah, take it easy guys. Have a good one. Peace.